Yeah, what's up guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So DJI Osmo Pocket, I took it out for some testing of the video and photo quality in low lighting conditions, specifically at nighttime. So what I've done is I find the darkest place I can go, which is into the forest or the national park. They had a little light show that was going on there. So I wanted to go there into pitch darkness and see how the video came out on just looking at some of the lights that they've got on the trees, some of the structures they've created and actually see is uh, low lighting really good on the Osmo Pocket. So I've taken a few pictures, I've taken loads of videos, I've created a little montage for you guys to have a look, and I've recorded this on uh, 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. So hopefully it will give you an idea of its capability at nighttime recording. So let's just get straight into it. Standing on the the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets and Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me Promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only Alright guys, so that was it. So in my opinion, I think that it does a really good job. There's a lot of uh, dark areas in some of the videos that I've taken, which obviously it's natural because it was pitch black when I was actually there. But when it was picking out the colours in the lights, I think it was doing a really good job. In the photos, obviously I think if you took your SLR camera, you have a lot more settings to play with. But the ideal situation is to have the Osmo Pocket connected to your phone, so you've got a ton more options to actually change the ISO, change the aperture, change the shutter speeds and that kind of stuff, especially in low lighting conditions. So on its own, I think it does a good job. With the phone connected, it does a great job. So that's my opinion. I hope you guys like that as well. So let me know in the comments below on what you think the Osmo Pocket is like in uh, very low lighting conditions as well. If you have any other questions, if you'd like me to test anything else with the Osmo Pocket, then do let me know. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this video and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care. Each other's eyes. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see.